very often there are disputes between the landlord and tenants and it can become very stressful if it continues for a prolonged period and tough action is taken by the landlord against the tenant. In order to smoothen out the renting process and make it beneficial for both tenant and landlord, the Model Tenancy Act came into effect in the year 2020. In this video, we shall cover the in-depth information about it. So stay tuned until the end. My name is Balaji Badrinath and I welcome you to my channel today. If you are new here, subscribe now and tap the bell icon so that I can notify you whenever I post a new video. By the way, Brick Experts is the newest initiative from our team to provide valuable information on projects developed by top developers in the city. I have put my thoughts such as the price notes, review, comparison and much more. So visit brickexperts.in and check it out. Now without further ado, let's begin with our show. During COVID-19, the lack of proper laws for the tenant made life very difficult for the migrant workers and students, due to which they were in constant loggerheads with the landlords. This act aims to stop such problems by putting in place rules, guidelines to be followed by both landlord and tenant so that they can gain the best from their rental contract. Here are the features of the Model Tenancy Act. Residential and commercial properties can be put for sale only when there is a proper written agreement between both parties who agree tighter on the laid down terms and conditions. Landlord can get only two months of rent as security deposit from the tenant in case of a residential property. Landlord can get maximum of six months of rent as security deposit from the tenant in case of a commercial property or a lesser amount put into the agreement. If the tenant has been asked to vacate the premises and does not do so, landlord can get double the rent for the next two months of stay and four times of the rent thereafter. Property that has been taken for rent cannot be sublet by tenant or to anyone else. Tenant cannot make any structural changes to the property unless it is approved by the landlord. In the event of a huge problem causing huge distress in the area where the property is rented out, landlord can allow the tenant to stay for another one more month beyond the date of vacating in the rental agreement. Within two months of signing the rental agreement, it is vital to inform about it to the designated uh, rent authority in the state. The rent authority can be a deputy collector or higher official and so has the power to settle disputes arising between the landlord and the tenant on rental terms. The Model Tenancy Act is very comprehensive in the way it protects landlords and tenants alike. For example, it is not uncommon to hear tenants say that landlords come to the home as and when they please at any time, thus causing great discomfort. With implementation of such act, such behavior is no longer possible. It is mandatory as per this act for the landlord to give 24 hours notice before arriving at the property. The time in which the property must be visited is between 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. It also rules that landlords should take only two months rent as security deposit has put to an end for the demand for year's rent as was seen with many landlords in major cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai, etc. Yet another problem that many tenants felt unhappy about was the sudden hike in the rental amount. The landlord would suddenly in the middle of their tenancy demand increase rental amounts else demand that the tenant leave the property. As per the Model Tenancy Act, such action is inappropriate and unlawful. Landlords can only ask for an increase in rental amount if such a point is mentioned in the agreement and when doing so, three months prior notice has to be given. So many tenants have complained about unreasonable landlords demanding that they undertake structural changes to property as per their specifications but make payment for it as they are living in it. Model Tenancy Act demands that only the landlord pays for such changes and is the only person responsible for it. One of the problems that landlords face is the non-payment of rent from the tenants, which this act resolves through its rental code. The landlord can approach this code to resolve this problem and evict the tenant right away. Maintenance is yet another important issue that has caused many disputes. The Model Tenancy Act settles this by stating that the rental agreement should clearly lay down the home maintenance expenses that should be paid by the tenant and those to be borne by the landlord. In case of expenses to be paid by the landlord, he or she can do so by direct payment for it, else by deducting it from the monthly rental income. Expenses to be borne by the tenant should be paid for directly by him but cannot be claimed from the landlord. Such expenses can also be deducted from the tenant's security deposit but if it is higher than this amount, the remaining should be borne by the tenant. So changing the Indian rental market environment. Decades have gone by with the India's rental housing sector operating with a lot of issues and disputes. 
implementation of the model tenancy act 2020 seeks to eliminate this for the first time and its success will help provide proper housing for all here is a look at the key aims of this act set up a vibrant and sustainable rental housing sector in india enable rental homes to be available for various income income groups thus eliminating homelessness give a standard format to the rental housing sector so that it moves into a formal setup unlock a large number of houses that have been lying vacant for so long in the rental market establish a model to be followed in the rental housing sector so that the housing shortage can be stopped the dispute settlement is yet another area of ambiguity with such issues going on for a lengthy period of time without resolution in many rental homes the model tenancy act addresses this by stating that such disputes should be settled by the rent court so that they are resolved quickly it furthermore states that if the tenant or landlord is unhappy with the judgment they can appeal against it at the rent tribunal or court in just 30 days of its order it is not possible to take these matters to the civil court which has no power against the judgment of the rent court any dispute case should be settled by the rent court in 60 days itself hope this video was useful to you if yes leave a thumbs up and share it among your friends see you in my next video